Hello everyone, today I want to talk to you a little bit about the native plant cardinal flower or Lobelia cardinalis. Cardinal flower is a beautiful native plant and it is said to have been named when it was taken over to England in like 15th, 16th century. And because when people saw the bright, vivid red blooms, they gave it the common name cardinal flower because that red reminded them of the Roman Catholic cardinals and the robes that they wear. This plant has a couple really beautiful relatives. The first one is great blue lobelia or lobelia, I think it's syphiliticus. I'll put it up on the screen. But anyway, I have tons of that lobelia in my yard as well. And then for my friends in Arizona, there is another relative, beautiful relative um, of this plant, the Sierra Madre lobelia. Now that one, the difference with that one is that it does have the red flowers, but um, on the inside, they are a little bit yellow. So behind me here, you can see one patch of my cardinal flower. This is probably my best patch of cardinal flower, and it is a hummingbird magnet. The hummingbirds are always out here. I actually sat out here though for 15 minutes yesterday in the scorching heat right now, and not one came. Um, so is my luck. <laughs> cardinal flowers can deal with sun, to shade, um, but they must have a moist environment. They really, really want to have their roots in moisture. And I read somewhere along the line that you could even put them in maybe a little mini pond or right on the edge um, of a pond. These guys, as you can see, can get really, really tall. So anywhere between three and six feet. The tallest one is probably taller than I am, and I am about five, 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 six. This plant is poisonous. It's not something that you want to be eating. But a funny thing that I found on the internet when I was just looking up some more facts about the cardinal flower is, is that the leaves and parts of the plants used to be chopped up and put, and put in someone's food as a love, to be used as a love charm. And sometimes it was used as an aphrodisiac. I think it's probably stemming from the fact that the, the blooms are just such a vivid red that they thought it would be good for those types of activities. This plant is short-lived, but you can definitely collect the seeds. Once these stalks here um, dry up, you can put, well, this is what I do. I put like a paper bag over the top of it, clip it, and then turn it over. And um, when you do go to sow the seeds, the seeds want a cold stratification period. So I definitely recommend winter sowing them or um, doing some cold moist stratification in the refrigerator. And when you do sow them, they do need light to germinate. So you're just gonna wanna sprinkle them on top of your soil and you will be successful at getting them to germinate. Okay guys, I am stepping out of the blazing sun for just a <laughs> second. Just a note as if, if you follow me on my garden vlogs and, and how I go about designing my native plant garden beds. I think you guys know that I like to keep my front as formal and tidy as I can and keep it as native as possible. So I really love these cardinal flowers here, but what I realized, and I'll show you this when I um, go around there uh, with the, the camera, is that I have meadow beauty below it. And the meadow beauty flowers are so beautiful and they're pink pinkish purple and they don't match at all <laughs> with the red cardinal flowers. So what I think I'm going to do is I have a perfect spot to transplant these in the fall back in the woodland garden and then I have uh, great blue lobelia everywhere and I am just going to transplant a bunch of great blue lobelia up here in the front and then I think that will look beautiful with the meadow beauty next year. Okay guys that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I really hope uh, you learned something new about cardinal flower. It's a great plant for the landscape. You can use it in your front yards. I'm always looking for plants um, for my for my front yard. So if you would like to see more of my videos, please click on the bell and thank you. I'll see you again later.